We are going to be discussing everything from racial equality as well as the joy you can bring to a community as an officer. And let's not forget, later on, Koya will be joining us for Just Being Honest. So with all of that being said, CJ, yes, let's get it started! As we all know, there is a lot of contra controversy being a law enforcement officer. Our first guest is a police officer herself, but not only that, she brings so much joy to the perception of law enforcement. Y'all, please help me welcome Miss Chai Maron. Wonderful to have you here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You are me. stunning. Yes. Yes. Thank you. You've you got too. the memo. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. So, when you decided to become a police officer, what was your initial mindset? I just love people. You know, mm. I grew up in a family of seven children. I have five brothers and a sister. Mm -hmm. um, my mom and dad. I just always been that person to be selfless. Um, I'll mm. give to anyone before I do for myself. On a good, you that's know, a, a good note. Thing, yes. So mm -hmm. I always wanted to give back in a sense. Mm, that's yes, so beautiful. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure you may run into obstacles being a female police officer. Would you agree with that? Somewhat, yes. Somewhat. somewhat. I'm in a great community. Oh, um, they love me. That, of course <laughs> and they I do. I love them back. Right? <laughs> um, I don't have too many problems. You know, some of the things that I do think about me being a female, mm -hmm. a small female at that. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes that can be a disadvantage. Um, but I believe in treating people with respect. Mm -hmm. um, as long as I give respect, I don't usually have any problems. A problem with yes, them. That's yes, so good. Yes, That's so good. <laughs> so listen, I'm supposed to be saying yes, ma'am, to you. You're the officer. <laughs> so listen, how do you as a police officer bridge the gap between different dem demographics? Well, um, as said, even on my social media, just being myself. Mm -hmm. um, who you all see on social media is me. Um, that's how I always have been. Um, some of the things that I do that you see is just being different. I don't have to exert my power in the sense right. I get on their level, let them know that I'm human, yes. such as this video. <laughs> um, I can still be myself. I know how to separate law enforcement from uh, just everyday life. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. That's so important to yes, be able to do that. <laughs> so after witnessing police, police brutality as a police officer, yes, what does justice, tell us what does justice look like to you? Um, well, let me see how I can answer that in a, in yes. a positive way. Uh, with situations that I see, a lot of times uh, the media mm -hmm. can portray things worse than what it is. Mm. Um, I believe that if I'm not there, I can't speak on the situation. Mm -hmm. I also believe that there's um, some things that I can't speak on because mm -hmm. of who I am and the way people will take it. Right. So I be posit positive and uh, keep wisdom in everything that I do. Yes. Um, justice to me is just being fair. Uh, no matter mm. the race, no matter the age, just fair, just fair, um, just treating people as humans, no matter what, you know, yes, a lot of times, equal. yes, equal. yes, yes ma'am, a lot of times <laughs> people just, in my uh, age group, do the most, mm -hmm. all right, I believe just being humble. Just right. me. May I oh, ask you yes, what is your age group? I'm 30. I love it. A lot of people think I'm younger, but I'm 30 years you old. You do? I thought you were going to say I'm 25. I know they say wow. I like it sometimes, but... It but other times you're like, no, I'm 30. I'm 30. No, <laughs> yes. you are all grown, yes. ma'am. <laughs> yes, I so am. So as a black community, um, do you think we'll ever get to the point of no longer looking at the police as the enemy? I believe so. And it I starts, love that. yes, it oh. starts one step at a time, all right? Mm -hmm. I tell anybody, no matter what career it is, no matter what you're doing, one bad apple shouldn't spoil the batch. Correct. However, it takes time. Mm -hmm. And I'm not blind to that. I'm not naive to that. I can't change, even though... Let's say a million people see me, mm -hmm. I can't be everywhere. Right. So it just takes for everybody to do their part and back to being fair, showing respect yes. and treating everybody human. Fair, respect, and treating everyone like they're human yes, equal. Yes, Listen, equal. so yes, with you equality. being um, very active on social media as a police officer, what's your message that you want the world to take away from it? Always be you. Always be true to yourself, um, no matter the situation. If there's a situation, no matter what it is, even me in law enforcement, if I have to step up and say something, I will. I'm mm -hmm. not afraid to. It don't sound like um, you're afraid yeah, to. No. 
a lot of people say, oh, she plays too much, but they'll tell you, she, I hold my own, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and that's one thing that makes me a great officer. But just be mindful. Um, always go in with a clear mind. Remember that there's people like me everywhere mm -hmm. in law enforcement. Some people can't come to social media like I can. Um, right. So they have to still play that role. But just be mindful that everybody's not the same. Um, exactly. Treat everybody fairly. I know sometimes there's situations where you might have to take it in. I understand it because law enforcement, I have to as well. Mm -hmm. But um, my parents have taught me to always show respect, just like I'm yes. saying, yes, ma'am, I can't yes, help it. Yes, ma'am, no, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> um, just always be yourself, be true, uh, and keep keep God first. Come on I now. I believe in God. I should have yes. put him first. I should have said that a long time ago. You said it as long yes. as you said it. That's all that matters, <laughs> ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Listen, so <laughs> I want everyone to take a look at this video of yours. Hey, I know you in there. But I ain't finna chase you all day. Your little baby is standing right here at the window. I know you hear her. But see, I don't want to teach her to open the door for strangers, because I'm a stranger. Hold on, I hear a dog. <laughs> oh, okay, it's in the fence. I know you're watching me, too, because when I knock on that door, I heard, yes, 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 yes. Y'all be quiet. Y'all get on the floor. Them type of games you want to play? Oh, okay, they ain't coming. It's kind of a little loud. And I know you're probably sitting over there right now laughing at me, but that's okay. Because, yes, I'm scared of dogs. Anyways, why would you take the back tire and the handy bars of this man's bike? You ain't need the front tire? As a matter of fact, why would you not take the frame? Who just takes part of a bike? Now I ain't telling you to be a thief or nothing, but now you got me at your door over something that could have been prevented. You took a back tire and the handy bars. What are you trying to build? A clubhouse? What you, what you building? They told me that if I don't get you today, I got to stay here past 6 p.m. And I ain't staying here past 6 p.m. Time alone, close at 5 p.m. <laughs> Offers a try. That is hilarious. Yes. Do you run into those kind of scenarios a lot where you know people are in the house yes. and they're just... <laughs> Absolutely. And I'm straightforward. I tell them I'm going to knock a couple times. If that's the game you want to play, I'm gone. Because I want to go home at 6 p.m. <laughs> And my job would tell you, but I have fun, you know. You like look said, like you yep. have a blast. So yes, now yes. you dance all over Instagram and prank your sergeant. Yes. Like, how did that come about? I don't know. Like, I did it before the cameras came out. Um, like really I said, used to mess yes. with him all the time anyway. My brothers always say, oh, she been a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> She been like this, y'all just not seeing this. So even in school, you know, I always been the type to try to make people laugh, um, just to try to make people happy. Um, one day I just put, TikTok did it, really. When I seen TikTok come out, I'm like, I want to make a TikTok. Yes. You want to make a TikTok? I want to make a TikTok. And you became famous yes. on TikTok. And they banned my page, but I made another one. No. <laughs> Why would they ban your page? I don't know. One of my videos, uh, I made it 25 million on one of my videos. 25 million? Yes. What was it about? I left my gun one morning in patrol, uh, the patrol summary. Uh, patrol summary. Briefing. I'm sorry. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Briefing. Six o'clock in the morning, I walked in without my gun in my holster, and I Ooh. told my sergeant, hey, I left it. I want to go back home and get it, and he flipped the lid. Oh. So sometimes I tell him, hey, I want to do a prank, but this particular morning, I didn't tell him absolutely nothing. He believed I left my gun in. He wasn't happy. Oh, my goodness. Yes. But you have such a supportive yes. sergeant. Yes, How I cool do. is that? I do, I That's do. amazing. Yes, ma'am. Well, Officer Chai Marone, it's been such a pleasure sitting here Thank chatting you. with you. We wish you continued success, Thank but you. we want you to stick around. Okay, All right, will, to our yes. viewers, don't y'all go nowhere. We'll be right back with Just Being Honest.